Hey, Shalom Israel, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rekakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who is pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. And the one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the land wherever go. Shalom, brothers and sisters, Shalom. Oh, wow, brothers and sisters. Hey. So, uh, not sure what this epistle is going to be entitled, but definitely it's all about having faith in Yahweh Shem Shai and, and the written word of, you know, the promises that Yahweh Shem Shai has made and the ones that's been accomplished right now by this wicked kingdom, you know, crumbling down around us uh, and Yahweh Shem Shai uh, delivering us out of their hand, out of the hand of the wicked ones, Esau, Edom, the Caucasian race. So, um, you know, how fitting today. I tried to do this epistle early this morning, and uh, nope. Hey, I got as soon as I hey man, I, I was ready to go. I had everything prepared, uh, and I was just about to I was just about to turn the camera on, bro. Got a call, gotta go, you know. So I came out here after I took care of everything to this very spot, and I, you know I was I was like, this is a nice spot, man. I'm gonna do it here. So I was thinking about where where should where should I go. So, I, same thing, I got out here, got set up and everything, and uh, got another call. Hey, and you know what? We're going straight to the scripture right now because that's what this, this, that's what this epistle is about. Um, because I also want to add uh, that, uh, seek, you know, as, as we started the epistle yesterday, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near because this is the time. That, and the gates of mercy are still open, right? This is the time for all, all of these, this, uh, for us to use this, this gift that Yahweh Hashem HaShah has given us, which is the gift of faith, to, uh, to collect and to get this wisdom and knowledge that should be the stability of that time. Uh, to understand, you know, the understanding of what's right and what's wrong, which way to go, how should we move in these last days uh, with this devil about to come down having great wrath and how he's setting up all these unrighteous decrees and all these things all around us, my man. Uh, one of them being that just now, what well, no, it was it yesterday, right? Yeah, yesterday, one of the brothers put up an epistle, and I got it. I I, I screen, I went back and screenshotted it so I could use it in this epistle. Um, it was the brother give and go, and he his epistle was called "E Selling Wolf Tickets." You know, that's all it said. And I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch that. And uh, I had to go do something, and when I came back, that thing has been taken down, bro. And that's you know evident right here that um, that these these devils here they they they're already coming down having great wrath. They already you know in this they're already showing their horns in this so-called what do they call it a, a free world democracy and all this blah 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 and all this stuff. No man, the truth. The truth has been declared that these motherfuckers are the devil. As the scripture proclaims, they're liars from the womb. They go come, as soon as they be born, they come out speaking lies, man. Let's get some scriptures here. I'm going to go, uh, hold on, let me go get it. We're going to the book of Ephesians. Ephesians uh, chapter 6 verse 11 put on the whole armor of Yahweh Shemashah that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil right against all all the wiles and the acts of the wicked and the wickedness of the devil all their lies all of their unrighteous decrees so you know we can always stand firm having faith you know verse verse 11 put on the whole armor of Yahweh Shemashah that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil for we wrestle, this is the point I wanted want to bring out. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Okay? Yeah, man, we wrestle against all this stuff. Just like, you know, you're going to, sometimes it seems really hard to, to accomplish things. You know, you got uh, these demons that run around here. I got to make sure I keep my footing. I'm going to get down on these nice rocks. Oh, these big ass rocks down here. 
yeah so we got all all kind of things we're coming up against in this truth uh, but hey these are the conditions of the battle um, and it, it's just part of it bro and it's, it's to keep us keep us you know give us something give us something to do because through it all this is also should be building up our faith to understand that the scriptures Yahweh Shem HaShah spoke of these things that we're gonna be going through all these things right um, hey what does it say for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of, of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Right, so this is a spiritual battle, first and foremost. Now, you're going to start trying to make it physical, but that's when we also rely on the, on the spiritualness of Yahweh Shema Shah to give us, hopefully, you know, Lord willing, spiritual powers as we even have now with this Holy Spirit, with the, uh, the spirit of understanding, bro. Um, and uh, like I was... I was meditating on the on the chairs and everything, man. We have no idea what kind of power is about to about to be unleashed. How um, the spiritual realm and this this realm here is starting to come. You know, things are gonna start happening, my man. Things are gonna we're gonna start to see more and more different things. It's very exciting, bro. It's very exciting. But how fitting about me trying to do those epistles? You know, from early this morning and and not once but twice had got called away just as I was about to do it. So, Lord willing, this will be edifying. It's all, you know, just about um, having faith in Yahweh Shema Shai. And like we was talking about the brother giving go, how they're, you know, evident once again, you know, of them striking, giving strikes and uh, all these damn different rules and regulations they got against the truth. You know, period, point blank, against the truth. Because we see all bunch of a slew of, uh, of, of filthiness. That's on the, on the on the internet. You know, a slew of filthiness on uh, on YouTube about different things. And uh, hey, that's still up, and that's good to go. Um, come on, let's go to the book of Genesis, cause we gotta go to the stores. Genesis chapter 27, verse 41. Genesis 27, verse 41. And Esau hated Jacob. See, because we can't. Hey, we, we can't sugarcoat this. This is uh these are facts. Even um back in the day, back uh back back with the with the water fountains, you know, whites only water fountain. And now, all of a sudden, you don't even don't even don't we don't we don't want to talk about these things. We don't want to talk about none of the things that we've done. Now it's all about love all of a sudden, but it's not. It's another trick and a wiles of the devil. It's another lie. It's another sugar coating. Uh, and we, we understand this now because why Genesis chapter 27 verse 41 and in Esau which is Esau Edom the Caucasian race hated Jacob because of the blessing wherein his father blessed him and Esau said in his heart the days of mourning for my father are at hand then will I slay my brother Jacob and these words of Esau we're gonna, we're gonna leave it right there then will I slay my brother Jacob because he hate he, he hate us because of the birthright, because Yahweh Shem HaShah chose us. You know, he chose us, he gave, he's given us, he made us joint heirs with Yahweh Shah in the kingdom of heaven. So with the everlasting kingdom, man, that we're going to have dominion over all these things as well, bro. They're going to be our slaves in the kingdom of heaven, and they hate that shit. Right now, this is their little funky ass rulership, and what they done did with it? Nothing. But destroy the earth. They destroyed the earth. They polluted this, the earth. They defile. They blaspheme. They're wicked, man. As 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 Yahweh Shem Hashai, they're the border of wickedness. All right, and it's all set up through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Hashai. Let's go to the book of Jeremiah, chapter twenty-eight, verse eight. Jeremiah chapter twenty-eight, verse eight. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war, and of evil and of pestilence, bro. That's what we do because this is not. This is not the Lord's kingdom. We're talking about the kingdom of heaven that's about to be established here. This is not the Lord's kingdom. He said, this is not my kingdom. If it were, my servants would fight. And hey, we're just so thankful to have this word of truth. We're so thankful that Yahweh Hashem uh, has chosen us to be Israelites. Our, uh, these, you know, these souls, our, our souls, out of all the people on the planet, He's chosen us to be His, His chosen people, brothers and sisters. It's a, it's a truly a blessing. 
to understand that this this wicked world here you know it's going to be dissolved and the kingdom of heaven is going to be set up in its stead you know all these beautiful things that Yahweh by Shemashai has made it's, it's really nice here but just imagine how nicer it's going to be in the kingdom of heaven oh wow it's going to make everything new everything new bro so we preach against this wicked kingdom telling them hey this kingdom is this kingdom this kingdom is done all your lies everything is going to be cast down all those false idols and everything you put up uh, you know everybody all these nations and all the, the children of israel that's wandering after the beast right now it's going to be done away man it's going to be cast down it's, it's over this is over and we've got to keep the faith through it all through the spirit and the power of yahweh by, by the tender mercies of yahweh by Shemashai, with the gift that he's given us this is the book of Micaiah, chapter 2 verse 10 exactly arise ye and depart for this is not your rest because it's polluted it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction right these words right here that yahweh by Shemashai has given us is telling us Hey, that this is not our rest. We don't have to. We don't have to look for anything in this world no more, brothers and sisters. Now it's time for us to uh, look for things to come rather than the things that are present in this present and wicked and evil world. Right here, as they're bar barreling down on us with all these unrighteous decrees, trying to get everybody to take the medicine, uh, promoting this fear, uh, taking down the truth whenever whenever it's proclaimed. You know, with the channels and with the with the um, edif edifying epistles, they're trying to stop it, bro. And you have about Shema Shah telling us, hey, don't fear none of those things. Don't worry about that. Just keep on doing it. Keep on going. Keep going, bro. Because we know this all of you have about Shema Shah. We understand there's a famine of the word. So it all goes together. It all goes together. Because all things are created for him and by him. This, he's already declared the end from the beginning. Even Esau, Edom, the devil that the Bible speaks of, brothers and sisters. That's what we got. That's you see. That's what we're talking about. That's the understanding we got right here. Even the devil that the Bible speaks of. Let's go to the book of Isaiah. So we're gonna arise and depart right here up in our head. We're gonna keep the faith, and we're looking for new heavens and we're looking for new earths. You know, we're not here no more. We're not here no more. We're here physically, but our mind is elsewhere. Our mind is in the kingdom of heaven. Let's go to the book of Isaiah chapter 13, verse 15. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through, and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. So that's why this warning is going out to the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. Telling y'all, hey man, this is the time to get that faith, get, your, get the understanding that's out here. That Yahweh by Shema Shah has given us this gift. You know, uh, learn the names of the Lord. The Father's name is Yahweh Almighty. The Son's name is Yahweh Shai. Start praying to those names with a whole heart. Repent with your whole heart and, and just believe. Start watching the videos of the elders and apostles of Great Millstone with their 100% truth. Who's declaring what's right and what's wrong in these last days. It's all it's, it's it's almost there, bro. It's it's almost done, and we're we're waiting. Hopefully, any day now. Oh man, we, I can't wait to see what's gonna happen on the 11th. I keep I keep. I'm, it's like I'm at the edge of my seat. I hope they don't disappoint. This is Isaiah chapter 13. Once again, verse 15. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through. That's why it's vital that we uh we turn away from this wicked world. Don't stop. Don't believe the hype, man. Don't believe this, these lying devils no more, man. Don't be a part of this wicked kingdom anymore. Get, get, set yourself free. How about Shema Shah say, Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. The truth is that we are his lost, we are his chosen people, the lost world child of Israel, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, you know? It says, Everyone that is found shall be thrust through, and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Because you got so many of the children of Israel, they're still out here, trying to like i was uh, talking about that young lady the other day still trying out here trying to get 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 it trying to hold on uh, trusting in this devil all these things they're doing bro because they, they're not seeking you how about shima shai with all these all these things happening all these unrighteous decrees coming out um all this medicine being pushed upon them they still don't see it 
they still don't believe it because why this message is only going out for the 144 hopefully elect and the 130 of israel the ones that will hear the ones that will believe repent and be healed because this is we're going right back to the uh, romans let's go to the book of romans chapter 12 verse 1 Romans chapter 12, verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh Shem El that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. Holy, that means separate and pure, acceptable unto Yahweh Shem El which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world. Now it's sinking in. Because why? Everyone that's joined along with them shall be thrust through, bro. You know, be not conformed to this world. And, and the Lord's talking about, that. no, because we, 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 we out here, what's the scripture say in the book of Ezekiel? You know, set a mark on the man that sigh and cry for all the abominations done in the midst thereof. And that's what's happening around here. Nothing but abominations being pushed out on the people. Are you down with this abomination? No. Uh-uh. That's why. And be not, uh, Romans chapter 12, verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Uh, understanding what's right and what's wrong. That ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh by Shema Shai. So you want to be on one accord with Yahweh by Shema Shai. You don't want to be a part of this wicked ass kingdom. You don't want to be a part of this wicked ass world talking about build, build it better. And all this all this BS, bro. No, -uh, man. We're not being conformed to this world because we're looking for new heavens and new earth where I dwell of righteousness. And this is the faith and the patience of the saints right here, bro. This is what this is what this is what, yeah, this is the epistle. What what we gonna call it, man? Faith. Have faith. Have a little faith. Something like that. I don't know. But that it's all about coming back to Yahweh about Shema Shah. Having faith. The Lord said you have a faith as, as small as a grain of mustard seed, you know. You'll be able to move the mountains, man. Huh? And that, that, that little seed is going to grow and flourish. As you get uh, seek the Lord's face more and more and get more and more understanding. Yeah. Because I was think I was meditating, you know, um, about making that body a living sacrifice. And that was a movie came out a while back called the I think it was called the Seven Sign or the Seven Seals. And I remember a scene in this movie, and um, it was a you know of course how they Edomites are all over the place. Every, every, everything everybody's an Edomite, but in the movie anyway, just to you know that was a scene in the movie, and the man's like, um, "Will you die for him?" Will he will die for him? At the time, he was talking about uh, will the woman give up her soul for the sake of the son's soul or something, so the son could be born because there was no more souls in heaven. All, all this, see, all these, all these damn lies they've been pushing out all, all this time, man. All these different, all these different crazy ass doctrines and shit they've been having pushed out all this time. But Yahweh about Shema has blessed us with this hundred percent truth. And yes, Yahweh about Shema Shah said even until the death. You know, follow this word, follow this truth, even until the death. And that's what we're doing. We come back wholeheartedly, you know, that with the spirit that Yahweh Shem HaShah has given us, man, to believe this word wholeheartedly, so much so that, yes, we will, bro. All the way to the death, we will believe this word to the death, man. Because this word is faithful and true. And we know that this world is nothing but some wicked-ass, wicked-ass shit out here in these last days, bro. And we see what they're doing. We understand. Revelations 13, we understand, man. No man may be able to buy or sell lest he have the, the, the mark, man. The M-A-R-K. And these things, they don't even want us to speak about, bro. All oh, praises to you. How about Shima? Shot, right? Man. Oh, shoot, bro. Hey, man, we're going out of here. We're going home, man. We're getting the hell up out of here. All oh, praises to you. How about Shima? Shot, man. We get, we about to get the hell up out of here, bro. Let's put, let, let's go to the book of Luke. And the Lord, hey, the Lord's chosen us, brothers, to be a part of the 144 hopeful elect and one-third of Israel, to believe this word. It's a gift of faith, man. A gift of faith. This is the book of Luke chapter 17, verse 33. 33. Whosoever shall seek to save his life, okay, shall lose it. Now, I may have to take this, just this little bit right here and, and make a little small epistle about it because... Making that body a living sacrifice. Don't worry about, you know, walking in the spirit, believing in this word so much that we're going to just fall into the hands of Yahweh Shema Shah. You know, uh, fall at the mercy of Yahweh Shema Shah. Believing this word so much, he said, 
Luke chapter 17 verse 33 whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it okay because we're coming back to the understanding that Yahweh Shem HaShai is all powerful and we're gonna get those scriptures in just a, in just a second now we got um, I thought about Hezekiah we're gonna, we're gonna get that too I thought about Hezekiah when uh, Isaiah told him he was gonna die Yahweh Shem HaShai told him to tell him that he was gonna die and he just he just started crying and he, he, the first thing he did was pray to Yahweh Shemasha. Faith, bro. He didn't jump up and run down the street to Dr. So-and-so. Hey, Dr. So-and-so, give me one of them shots, man. No. Whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it. You understand that? So if you're seeking to save your life because of something that somebody has told you is detrimental, you're going to lose it. That's what you have about Shema I say because we, you have to understand what time we're living in. We're in the time of the end. Esau Edom's wicked ass kingdom. The devil that the Bible speaks of, bro. So whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it. And whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. Right there. What you got to say about that, man? Plain, simple, right? Plain, simple. Don't try to save your life, but have faith in Yahweh Shem HaShah. Trust in the word of Yahweh Shem HaShah that's being brought out by the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and all the other brothers on down that umbrella, brothers and sisters. Let's go to the book of James, chapter 1, verse 6. Well, let's, 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 uh, let's go to verse 4. Oh, I'm sorry, Salaki, let's start at verse 2. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. And that's what, what's going on now. We're heading to the end, man. We're heading for that hour of temptation. So we count it all joy when you when you uh, fall into diverse temptations. Knowing this and all of this, all these buildups too. You know, um, things that happen that's going to get us stronger and stronger in the faith until that day. You know, knowing this first, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. Okay? Let but let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect, and, in, and enter wanting nothing. Right, just calm your ass down, and know and believe this truth. Have faith. Have a little faith. Have faith in Yahweh Shemasha. Knowing, coming, because we're coming back now, knowing that Yahweh, look at that bird. You see that bird? Where's that bird? There he is. Oh, shoot. There he is right there. You know, we're coming back knowing that Yahweh Shem HaShah is all-powerful. He's already declared the end from the beginning. He said he knows how many hairs we have on our, on our heads. He said, he said there's not a sparrow that falls out of the sky without his consent. What more do you need, bro? Have a little faith. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith works the patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect, and, and enter, enter wanting nothing. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of Yahweh Shemashah to give it to all men liberally, and unbraid it not, and it shall be given him. Right? But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, for he that wavered is like a wave of a sea, driven with the wind and tossed. Okay? And let not that man think that he shall receive anything of Yahweh Shemashah. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. And I like to marry this this scripture when Peter was walking on the on the on the on the, on the water when they had asked you how a shot if he could walk out there and he began to walk but then his faith wavered right so have a little faith bro have a little faith let that faith build up so much now that we're gonna be like our forefathers when something came upon them they did not waver they didn't worry about it at all and that's what time we're coming into. And that we're praying that Yahweh Hashem is going to put that spirit on us because we understand that this is not of us. Okay, this is not of us. We're not going to, uh, we're not going to, um, um, what do you call it, boast in ourselves or, or, or think that we're bigger than what, who we are and nothing like that. We know that all this is, is of Yahweh Hashem Hashem. Speaking of which, there was, a, um, there was a, a brother that made an epistle today and it was... Uh, um, I'm gonna make an. I have to make an epistle about that. It was an epistle that he heard from Elder Apostle Ramlov. It was a uh, Bakar 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 Amoth made this epistle and he made an, a statement about it about the uh, you know the spirit of Yahweh Shemashah. 
and I want to make another because I thought about that the other day that uh, Yahweh Shem Shai is the father of spirits and he gives he, he puts out his Holy Spirit he gives a certain man spirits to do certain things at certain times uh, he hardens hearts with spirits you know all these things are done by the will and the power of Yahweh Shem Shai you know with that said have faith in Yahweh Shem Shai and we're asking the Lord for for that for that mercy man and give us those spirits in those in these times when we need him and the lord you know he's already declared the end from the beginning so all we have to do bro at the end of the day is have faith in yahweh bashim Shai. have faith have faith in yahweh bashim Shai, and believe in this word believe what he say okay i'm gonna go to the book of uh hebrews Chapter 11, verse 6, brothers brothers and sisters. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to Yahweh Shema Shai must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him, man. It's, it's so simple. Without faith, it's impossible to please Yahweh Shema Shai. Because you got to believe that he is, bro. And uh, you have to have fear of Yahweh Shema Shai. When you have, when you have that faith, of course, you're going to have fear of him, understanding. If you really understand and have faith in Yahweh Shema Shai, believe in these words, you're going to get them. You're going to start seeking. You're going to, you, you have seek the, you have already sought, sought his face. You start, you're con constantly gaining and un gaining understanding of him through the spirit that he's putting on you. Uh, you know, he's the one that's giving you the knowledge and wisdom to understand him even more. You know, um, which is also increasing your faith, increasing your faith, understanding that he is. He is. He is. You know, what, what more do you need? What more can you say? Let's go. Let's, let's step it up a little bit. I'm going to go to the book of Romans. Um, chapter 8, verse 11. Romans chapter 8, verse 11. It says, but if the spirit of him that raised W. Howe from the dead dwelleth in you, he that raised W. Howe from the dead also shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you, by his spirit that dwelleth in you. Okay, so you don't have to, nothing to worry about. If you really believe that Yahweh by Shimei Hashah raised W. Howe from the dead, you know, he's, he's already said that, you know, the dead shall arise first. Um... We don't have to worry about it. We we believe we understand about reincarnation. You know, this is Yahweh Shem Almighty. You know, as the Scripture proclaims once again, "Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free, bro." Hey, and the Lord said, "Hey, fear not them that can that can destroy the the body, but fear the one that can destroy the body and the soul." And that's Him. Constantly, constantly, um, constantly reiterating, "Hey." He is the Lord Almighty. Constantly re reiterating, hey, all this is written for time. They're written for our learning. You know, these things are, 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 are faithful and true. These words are faithful and true. This is the way I got it set up. This is the way it's going to be. Don't you worry about a thing. Don't you worry about a thing. Mark chapter 9 verse 1. And he said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that there be some of them that standeth here which shall not taste of death. Till they have seen the kingdom of Yahweh Shema Shai come with power. See, and you, you know, uh, now of course, like the, my, like the big brother the elder said the other day, don't nobody want to die now. But we're saying, hey, if, if it be our lot, then so be it. But of course, nobody wants to die. But Yahweh Shai said, hey, there'd be some of you standing here that would not taste death. And he's talking about this present time now. Until we see the kingdom of heaven, you know, be established here. So we got some of us gonna go right on into the kingdom, you know, uh, going through this trial and tribulations, going going through this uh, time of Jacob's trouble, you know, going through it, bro. But still having the faith through it all, having the absolute faith through it all, and being delivered through it all, as Yahweh Shem Shai say, have no fear, you worm, thy, thy worm Jacob, I will help thee. Right? Psalms 91 talks about it. Let's go to the book of Isaiah, chapter 38. Verse 2, Hezekiah turned his face, well let's start at 1, in those days was Hezekiah sick unto death, and Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, came unto him and said unto him, 
Thus said the Lord, Yahweh Shai, set thy house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. Then Hezekiah turned his face toward the wall and prayed unto Yahweh Shemashi, and said, Remember now, O Lord, Yahweh Shemashi, I beseech thee, how I have walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart, and have done that which is good in thy sight. And Hezekiah wept sore. Then came the word of Yahweh Shemashi to Isaiah, saying, Go and say unto Hezekiah, Thus said Yahweh Shemashi, the God of David thy father, I have heard thy prayer, I have seen thy tears. Behold, I will add unto thee. 15 years. Why? Because. What, what did Hezekiah say? Remember now, O Lord, Yahweh Shemashi, I beseech thee, how I have walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart and have done that which is good in thy sight. Hezekiah wept sore. And, that, and at this time, brothers and sisters, we, we of the 144, hopefully elect in one third of Israel, man, with this helmet of salvation, you know, hope of salvation, we, we're, we're hoping to be a part of that number, man. We're hoping uh, to be without spot and blameless, so Yahweh Shemashah can look up, look upon us as he did Hezekiah, you know, and 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 as the scriptures so say, hey, whatever you ask in my name, that shall I do, you know, you know, um, if we're pleasing Yahweh Shemashah, if we're doing the things that please Yahweh Shemashah, right? And one of them is to be faithful to him, be faithful to him, and understand what times we're living in, you know, who our enemies are, who we are as a people. And, and say, hey, man, we can't we can't be down with that because we understand that, you know, just being frank and blank with it, bro. You people are the devil. This is already this is already declared to happen. You know, you're I, we know what you're trying to do with this medicine, trying to get us to uh, to uh, defile our temple and, and 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 bow down to your image and all this. We understand what's going to what's what you're trying to do with this M.A.R.K. Hey, that's just the bottom line, man. This these are the conditions of the battle. And we're not, you know, we're not wrestling with flesh and blood, but it's spiritual. It's right, you know, we're doing it right here, bro. And how about Shema Shah said he's going to cover us. We just have to have the faith, man. And, and if something goes down, we understand that it's the will of Yahweh Shema Shah. But we're throwing ourselves on the mercy of Yahweh Shema Shah, bro. And we're, we're walking uprightly right now. And trying to be as spotless and blameless in these days. In these days, okay? And the scripture, once again, in Luke chapter 30, 17, verse 33, he that seeks to save his life shall lose it. You know, just to reiterate that, because it's all about faith, having the faith of what's, uh, what the plans of Yahweh Shema Shai, knowing uh, the will of Yahweh Shema Shai is. And the will is that stand so stiffly for the word of Yahweh Shema Shai, bro. Understanding what times we're living in these last days, understanding who the devil is, who we are, and coming back to that, you know, to, that, to our heritage, man, to our true heritage of being separate and holy. In these last days. Let's go to the book of Proverbs chapter 16 verse 9. A man's heart divides his way. But Yahweh Shemashi directs his steps. Okay. So once again. Uh, when these things happen. You know. Um, just understand. You're right there. Where, exactly where you're supposed to be at. You're right there. Exactly where you're supposed to be at. Just stay in the spirit bro. Stay in the spirit. Trust in Yahweh Shemashi. The book of Psalms. Chapter 68, verse 20. He that is our God is the God of salvation. And, in, and unto God the Lord belongeth the issues of death. Right. Yahweh Shemashi, the issues of death belong to him, brothers, because he is the Lord Almighty. Okay? You don't have to worry about it, man. And Yahweh Shemashi. Want you to be gone? You're going to be gone. If he wants you to live, you're going to live. Let's go to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39. See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand, bro. There you go right there. And how about Shemashi? It's God Almighty. He's the one that wounds. He's the one that heals. Okay? He's the one that kills and make alive. You just saw the example of with Hezekiah. Right? Proverbs. Chapter 21. And this is the God that we serve, bro. Proverbs chapter 21, verse 16. 
Proverbs is like I went to the wrong one. 21, verse 16. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. And that's why we have to hold on, brothers and sisters, and do what's right in the sight of the Lord. Hold on, pray to Yahweh Shemashah to keep us, bro. To keep us. To keep us on this path of righteousness. To, to not, not blow away, blow out our candle, man. To not throw us, throw us away, bro. That's what we're talking about, man. Because whew, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of Yahweh by Shemasha. There's another um, epistle I want to upload, too. About the brother, uh, I think from the Mississippi camp. I love that brother, man. And he, there was a repost of one of his old videos. I remember, because I remember this video, man, from a long time ago. When he gave a testimony of him going off. When he gave a testimony of, uh, uh, how do you say it? Was the, he was, uh, I want to say, was it the Holy Spirit was taken away from him? The spirit of understanding? He was just, he said he was bugged out and he was plagued by demons, man, because he, um, did he blaspheme the name of Yahweh? He didn't blaspheme the name of Yahweh Shemashah. Uh, but he was just, he was just disobedient, bro. I want to repost that because that's a that's a that's a serious epistle, you know. That's a serious testimony, and that's what we we don't want. That Proverbs chapter twenty one verse sixteen: the man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Okay, now we got to understand that this is where we come from. We come from the congregation of the dead because we were out there. We were dead. They allowed our dead bodies to lay in the streets of these of this city. You know, they 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 allowed us to to, to call, keep calling ourselves. The so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, but not the children of Israel, even until this day. They still won't, they still won't confess the truth, bro. Even though this, this, these, these prophecies are, are kicking off, popping like popcorn, bro. Even us living prophecies, waking up to the fact that we are the children of Israel. Declaring the word out of the scriptures, you know, based off of uh, Deuteronomy, man. 28, bro. All of the, all, all of it. These will be, uh, these curses will be upon you for a sign and for a wonder, you know. They still won't. Because why? They're the devil that the Bible speaks of, brothers. And that's okay. Because let 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 Yahweh Shemasha, let the Lord, let the word of Yahweh Shemasha be true, but every man a liar, bro. But anyway, we we don't want to be back out there in the dead, man. No, man. We gotta cleave on to this word. We gotta cleave on to Yahweh Shemasha. And uh, you know, that that's a testimony for us to you know to show, hey, don't be messing around. And don't and I think he said what he was doing was continuing to talk to these uh, wicked ass niggas, man, that have fallen out of the truth. That's why, hey man, the, the, wor the word of Yahweh Shema Shah say, be not unequally yoked with non-believers. You know, don't be walking with them, don't be talking to them, get the fuck away, stay holy, be holy, be pure, man, be separate. Because they they already been rejected by Yahweh Shema Shah. You know, this is a very serious thing, man. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of Yahweh Shema Shah. I gotta reload, I'm gonna re-upload that as soon as I get back, man. Cause that's some that was a serious one, bro. To show the 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 the, the uh, because man, bro, you you have man. I can I can only speak for myself to know where you how about Shima Shai had brought me from. Okay, the 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 depths of darkness that I was in, man, man, myself, my own personal testimony, man. I was I was gone, bro. I'm serious. I was out there, man. And I I think you how about Shima Shai. And I'm true. I'm just really saying we're not we're not talking about this this damn bullshit church shit. We're not talking about this. Uh, no, man. This is the this is the true Holy Spirit of Yahweh Shema Shah. This is the true Spirit that Yahweh Shema Shah has called us out of darkness into this marvelous light to under, let us understand who we are, who our enemies are, the times that we're living in. He's proclaiming. Um, he's let us just like he say. And you got to know all things. They're going to give you that Holy Spirit. He's going to teach you all things, man. We know about the chariots, bro. We know about life and death, bro. We know what happened to the spirit when it dies, bro. These are these are big things, man. The book of Revelations, we know who the creator is. We know who 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 our, our who our Lord is, Yahweh. We have the names, bro. You just hey, you just can't blow past that, man. Come on, let's go. We're going to wrap it up now. You just can't blow past that, bro. You just can't blow, blow past that. We're going to go to the book of John. Chapter 11, verse 26. And the fact that uh, there's a lot of Israelites out here. You know, two-thirds of the children of Israel are blinded. They can't see it. The election have obtained it. And the rest are blinded. 
Hey, this is a precious thing, brothers and sisters. Precious thing, bro. John chapter 11, verse 26. And whosoever liveth and believe in me shall never die. Believest thou this? I wanted to jump up. I want to jump up to 25. Yahweh shall say unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. Okay? He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Right. Okay? And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? And that's what we're talking about right there. We're talking about everlasting life because the kingdom is about to be established. Yeah, how about Shema Shah is going to put these laws, statutes, and commandments in our inward parts? You know, it's going to be an everlasting rulership. We're going to be joint heirs in the kingdom of heaven with Yahweh about Shema Shah. We're going to get this last scripture and going to close it out in the book of John, chapter 10, verse 27, brothers and sisters. And hopefully this has been edifying and uplifting. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me, and I give unto them eternal life. And they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. So there you go right there, man. They have no fear of, of what these devils like. <laughs> Once again, I, I wish I could have saw what the brother had, you know, the epistle that the brother put out there. Um, he selling wolf tickets, man. Because, hey, what's, this, what's the Lord say? You can't do nothing unless it was given, unless, unless the power was given to you from the Father. So, hey, Yahweh Bashimasha already declared the end from the beginning, so all we do is have faith in Yahweh Bashimasha. So, with that, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rikakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. And the one third of Israel who believe in the word. Follow the Lamb wherever God. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom.